Here's tonight's 9 at 9. San Antonio police keeping an eye on local hospitals for any signs of a car burglary suspect who they believe was shot. Police say this happened at a Northwest Side home on Hunter's Hawk off of Northwest Military Highway. A homeowner told officers he shot a man he found inside his pickup truck after the man lunged at him. The suspect was able to get away. A five-year-old seriously injured after being thrown from a balcony of Minnesota's Mall of America. The suspect immediately tried to run off but was caught a short time later. Shots fired in Phoenix, Arizona during a human smuggling investigation. One woman was killed and four federal agents were hurt. Police say it started when immigration agents were trying to make an arrest. Someone inside a car shot at the agents. The agents returned fire. A San Antonio Fire Department lieutenant is serving a suspension after she was accused of acting belligerently during Worst Fest in November. Jerry Lynn Castles was initially served an indefinite suspension last month, but the suspension was reduced to 30 days after she signed a release and settlement with the agency. Three naked women led police on a high-speed chase in Florida. It all started after someone reported seeing the women at a rest stop area. A state trooper then approaches them to ask what's going on. I'm all here. There's no, there's no reason. We, because they told us, they said, why are you here drawing? Yeah, why are you guys? Have a towel. The trooper then tells them they are going to be detained, so they take off. They end up going the wrong way on the interstate. Another trooper catches up and deploys a tracking device on the suspect's car, leading them to a gas station. A trooper then smashes into the car. The women were all arrested. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt. A woman in Florida shaken up after a rod pierced her windshield while she was on the highway. The rod fell from a pickup truck in front of her car. The driver stopped only for a moment to pick up some of the other items that had fallen from his truck, and then he drove off. A Washington woman completes her 12th day on a hunger strike at the state's capital. Lanny Johnson says she wants to raise awareness about starving orcas in Puget Sound. Experts say Puget Sound's orca numbers are plummeting due to a lack of available food. And while state leaders are taking steps, Johnson says they're taking too long. Disney's upcoming streaming service will cost $6.99 a month. It will launch in the United States on November 12th before being rolled out globally. The company is predicting between 60 and 90 million global subscribers by 2025. Take a look at this. A Minnesota state trooper was directing traffic around an accident when high winds knocked him over. The Midwest has been experiencing blizzard-like conditions this week. Luckily, the officer was not hurt. To read more about these nine stories, just head to ksat.com slash news at nine.